Hey, what's up, guys? Spidey Fan Views here, and today I'm doing something I have not done in a very long time. And it's well overdue that I review this figure. This is the Bleeding Edge armor from uh, the Iron Man 3 movie series. It's not really a movie figure. This is more of a, you know, one of the comic book series, but it's from the Iron Man 3 movie, uh, you know, series. So, I thought I'd review it because Iron Man 3 comes out soon. I know a lot of you have seen it, thanks to my UK viewers, uh, Hulk Smash Production 1 for spoiling the movie for me, and, uh, telling me the ending, the middle, and the after credit scene, which were all very disappointed for, uh, very disappointing for me. Um, yeah, that was, that's upsetting to hear that. But, I do want to say, you know, first things first, I did not get to review the Thor Into Darkness trailer. Just didn't have enough time on my hands at the moment. I really wanted to get a review done. So I thought, you know, I'd wait for to do this review and just talk about what I thought of the trailer. I really am not looking forward to it. I mean, it looks good, but it just doesn't look as good as, you know, the other movies we've seen from Marvel. I mean, Iron Man 3, they make it, it it looks trust me, the trailers and all that make you think it looks good, but trust me, I I'm not a fan of what they did. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a pretty good movie. Okay, but I'm just I'm I'm not looking forward to it as much as other movies that are coming out this year, like Star Trek, for instance. But anyways, let's talk about this figure. Oh, and for those of you new to this channel, I do comic book reviews every week. You can check out my latest episode. I did it yesterday, um, so please check that out, I'm kind of desperate for views on my comic book videos, uh, and I really want to do a toy review, because I know you guys like them, because uh, they get the most views, so, talk about this figure, uh, just want to say, I had to get this one, because this is my favorite armor Iron Man has ever wore, weird, I know, eh, out of all the classical ones, everything, I pick this one, this one, I don't know, there's something so cool about it, and, it's got a, it's, it's really like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Do you, do you guys, you guys tell me, um, if you think this is your favorite Iron Man armor, or if this is one of your favorites, because I just want to know. I want to know what it is about this guy, but he's really cool. Um, let's take a look at the head. The head looks pretty sweet. I like the eyes. It's got like this cool marble feel to it. It's really cool. I like the blue. The blue didn't come out as good as it possibly could have, but whatever. The gold and the red look cool. The, uh, there's rockets and peg holes in the feet. It's pretty sweet. Um, that rhymed. Uh, the, um, the head can pop off if you really want it to. Uh, it, the paint looks good. Uh, everything about the paint, uh, the look of the figure is pretty cool. Uh, the blue little, uh, what are these called? Oak reactors on the shoulders could have came out a bit better, but, you know, looks pretty good on camera. And I really like this. The head sculpt... I already said it, but I just want to show it again because I just thought that looks cool, man. Uh, it's a good figure. Um, we get some comparisons. Uh, we're gonna talk. We have the Iron Man 2 uh, movie figure. This one I actually like a bit more. This one I like more. Uh, I don't know why. There's just something I always really liked about this movie figure here. Ah, uh, this is too cool, man. Let's quick look at this guy. Yeah, I like that guy. Uh, now one from the comic book series, we have Titanium Man, and I think that these guys stand pretty, he's bent a bit, I don't want to take him out of his pose and all, because, like, I have to put it back, but I think if you, you can really get a good, you know, display with these two, they're good, this guy, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention, he's a good sized Iron Man, we've gotten some pretty crappy sized Iron Mans in the past from Hasbro. And I really think this guy's a good size. Uh, let's just compare him to the best Iron Man of all time. He's also in a pose. Yeah, see, he stands pretty big. He's he's around the same size as this guy. And this guy's a pretty big... He's This guy's a good-sized Iron Man, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so he's a pretty good-sized uh, figure. And he, he's got some bulk to him. Really looks like, you know, Iron Man should. He's got good articulation. His head can rotate up and down. He's got a ball jointed shoulder, bicep swivel, two joints at the elbow, can turn at the wrist, and can go in and out. I know you guys can't really see how my hands are in the way. One fist here, repulsor hand on the other. He's got the T jointed legs so they can kick all the way forward out. Rotate at the thigh. T 
two joints at the knee, and of course he has the ankle locker, which can, okay, that's actually not, you can lock it, and it can flex. So, overall, this is a pretty cool Iron Man figure, probably one of Hasbro's better Iron Mans, to be honest, I, I actually like this guy a lot. Um, so that's why I'm going to give him, you know, the rating, and by the way, I know I haven't been doing toy reviews lately, so you guys probably don't know what my rating is, but I'd rate it on must buy, buy it at full price, buy it on sale, and then a pass, um, so I, I'd say buy this guy at full price, he's not a must buy, you don't have to buy him right now, it's not like a figure where you need to get it, but it's a figure that's definitely worth what they are charging at retail, so I want to know, um, how many guys saw Iron Man 3? I know, you know, guys in the UK have seen it. Uh, Philippines, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. If anybody from you, those uh, countries are watching, I want to know what you guys thought about it. I, for one, um, I'm not impressed with the choices they've done. It's, I mean, it, it's good. I mean, from what I've seen and what I've heard, it, it's good, but it, it's, mi it's mixed, is what I'm trying to say. It's got good things and bad things. Um... But anyways, this is the review of the Bleeding Edge Armor Iron Man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanna know what you guys think of Iron Man 3, and I wanna know if, how many of you got this guy. So this is Spidey Family Reviews saying peace, and I will be back to do a review of Iron Man 3, and maybe some other reviews this week. So, later.